It's a really musty smelling wardrobe. It's so musty that I don't want to open it up. It looks out over the cemetery. Creepy. It won't open. It's a Murphy bed. Wow. I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. I've got a mallet and a nail. This will be perfect as soon as I find something to use them with. I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more nail. There. The bed has been nailed down. That ought to do it. The Good Soups. A Life in Pictures by M.M. M. Good Soup. The Murphy bed is slammed up so many times it's made a hole in the wall. I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, huh? Uncle Griswold, it's me! Don't you recognize me? Recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? Hearty Beef and Potato. Hearty Beef and Potato? I come from good Irish stock. Hmm. I don't recall having any relatives with that name. Tell me that whole ring story again. My dead great aunt's fiance stole the diamond and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the engagement band until the day she died, and she remains buried in the Good Soup family crypt, dead of a broken heart. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? No, you don't look much like a good soup at all. In fact, you look more like one of the broths, child. They always did have weak features. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Every day I wander the Good Soup family hall of portraits and give my respects to each of my distinguished ancestors. Every distinguishing feature of the Good Soup family is there in those pictures. And I see nothing in any of those portraits that might remind me of you. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. There's nothing like family. No matter what may happen in the topsy-turvy world of the Caribbean resort business, I can always relax in the knowledge that I come from good, wealthy stock. Breeding. That's what's important. Breeding and culture. Just like Grandfather Lambert. Breeding. Culture and lots and lots of really old money. Mm, it makes a man proud. It's funny. I don't remember Grandfather Lambert as looking so... so common. Oh, weird. It's like his eyes follow me. 
Pictures like that really creep me out. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? Now that you mention it, you do bear a slight resemblance to my great-grandfather C. Lambert good soup. Clammy? Why, folks back home used to tell me all the time. You're the spitting image of old chowder good soup. You know, I think you're right. Uh, I wonder why I didn't see it before. I could just talk about good soup history all day. How about that first fateful journey made to the Caribbean? Oh, you mean the one that... Baron Salmon Bisque de Good Soup began in 1621? Exactly. He landed on Scab Island with just a spoon and a dream. In just four short years, he had formed the largest chain of all soup restaurants in the Western Hemisphere. By 1635, he had driven the entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean and had a restaurant empire that spanned the globe. Actually, the Van Salads were not driven out until 1637, and the Good Soup chain of restaurants and resorts never did become popular in the South Pacific. Yes, we are. All right, whatever. Well, son, it looks like you were right. Welcome back to the glorious name of Good Soup. I'm, uh, honored. And as a good soup, you're welcome to every benefit the name provides. Instant prestige around Blood Island, a 10% discount at any of the good soup resorts in the Caribbean, and, of course, medical, dental, and a 401k. And the best thing of all, if you should happen to drop dead, you will be buried in the extravagant good soup family crypt. It's as if all my dreams have come true. I'd like a drink, please. Sure, sure. had a sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. Oh, and just as we were getting reacquainted. As his kinsman, it is my duty to give him a proper burial. It is my solemn vow. Young, hearty beef and potato shall be buried in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. 